The glorious Quran is the proclamation to humanity. It is the fountain of mercy and wisdom. It's a guide to the erring. It's a warning to the heedless. It's an assurance to those in doubt. It's a solace to the suffering. And it is a hope to those in despair. The glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Almighty God, which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. For any book to claim that it is a word of God, for any book to prove that it is the revelation from Almighty God, it should stand the test of time. Previously in the olden days, it was the age of miracles. The glorious Quran is the miracle of miracles. Later on came the age of literature and poetry. Muslim and non-Muslim Arabic scholars alike, they acclaim the glorious Quran to be the best Arabic literature available on the face of the earth. But today, if a religious book in a very poetic fashion says, the world is flat, Will a modern man believe in it? But naturally the answer is no. Because today is not the age of literature and poetry. Today is the age of science and technology. So let us analyze whether the glorious Quran is compatible or incompatible with modern science. According to Albert Einstein, the famous physicist and the Nobel Prize winner, who I am told also addressed this historic Oxford Union, he said, Science without religion is lame. And religion without science is blind. Let me remind you, the glorious Quran is not a book of science, S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, but it's a book of signs, S-I-G-N-S. It's a book of ayats, it's a book of verses. And the glorious Quran has more than 6,000 signs, 6,000 ayats, 6,000 verses, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. As far as my talk today is concerned, I will only be speaking about scientific facts. I will not be speaking about scientific hypotheses and theories, which all of us know many a time, these theories and hypotheses take U-turns.